The Unicorn Who Lost Its Horn by Addison Books Once upon a time, in a world full of magical creatures, there lived a beautiful unicorn named Sparkle. Sparkle had a magnificent spiralling horn on her forehead that shimmered like a rainbow. The colours of Sparkle's horn spread joy and painted the world around her with lots of colours. Flowers that were pale and colourless burst into brilliant shades of red, yellow and blue. Butterflies with dull grey wings were transformed into dazzling colours leaving a rainbow trowel as they flew away. Sparkle could not be happier with the powers of her beautiful horn. But one day a terrible storm raged through the land and as Sparkle tried to find shelter, a bolt of lightning struck her horn. Her horn flew off her head into a nearby river. Sparkle tried to grab it, but it was too late. The horn was lost. The world around her had turned dull and grey without her colourful horn. Determined to find her horn, Sparkle set off on an adventure to bring colour back to her world. As she journeyed through the grey forest, Sparkle came across an owl perched on a tree branch. With all the colour gone, he was trying to sleep, but he couldn't tell if it was day or night. Excuse me, kind owl, have you seen my missing horn? Sparkle asked, her eyes full of hope. The owl replied, I haven't seen it, but perhaps the fox near the river may know something. So Sparkle ventured onward, her hooves splashing in the shallow river as she approached the fox who appeared to be struggling catching any fish. Dear fox, have you seen my magical horn? It was lost in this river, Sparkle asked, her voice trembling with concern. The fox shook his head. No, it's been hard to see anything clearly in the water with the colour gone, but this river empties into a lake at the bottom of the mountain. A wise turtle who lives there may have some answers. With renewed determination, Sparkle trekked to the base of the towering mountain to find the turtle. With no colour, the turtle couldn't tell the difference between rocks and his food, leaving his cart empty. Hello, wise turtle. Can you help me find my horn and bring colour back to this world, Sparkle pleaded. Climb to the mountain's peak and you shall find what you seek. The journey was long and difficult, but Sparkle persisted, guided by the hope of finding her horn. As Sparkle neared the peak, she stumbled upon a cave glowing with a mysterious light. Inside the cave, she found a sleeping dragon, her missing horn clutched in its claws. Mustering her courage, Sparkle whispered, Please, kind dragon, may I have my horn back? I found this horn in the lake. When I brought it back, it made all of my treasure glow brightly. I can see why you wouldn't want to let it go, but imagine if we could spread that same joy you're feeling now to everyone in the land. Helping others is the greatest joy one can feel, and together we can do it faster. Touched by Sparkle's kindness, the dragon gently placed the magical horn back on her head. As the horn reconnected with Sparkle, a brilliant burst of colour radiated from her, spreading across the dragon's cave. The forest, the river and the mountain were filled with vibrant colours once more. The dragon, now surrounded by colour, thanked Sparkle for sharing her magical gift. With her horn restored, Sparkle began her journey home, leaving a trail of colour behind her. As she made her way back, Sparkle visited her friends, the owl, now fully rested, the fox, arms filled with fish, and the turtle with a cart full of food. Each of her friends rejoiced in the return of colour. Everyone was grateful for the beauty and joy that Sparkle's horn had brought back. When Sparkle returned home, her friends and family welcomed her with a colourful celebration. From that day on, Sparkle and the dragon became close friends, spreading colour and magic throughout the world together. And so Sparkle the Unicorn and her friends lived happily ever after, cherishing the beauty of their colourful world. Thank you for listening, and if you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe and come join us for more stories.